Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the Bode plots for poles. Now poles are the exact opposite compared to zeros. The slope is negative instead of positive. It's still 20 dBs per decade, but it's in a negative direction. And the phase angle is a minus 90 degrees constant for every value of omega instead of the positive 90 degrees. So we can say that there's a minus 90 degree shift for each pole. If there's two poles, there would be minus 90 degrees times 2 or minus 180 degrees. Also notice that the slope is only minus 20 dB for a single pole. What if we have two poles or three poles? Well, it turns out that the slope is n times negative 20 dBs per decade, where n is the number of poles. So if there's two poles or there's three poles, then the slope would be minus 40 or minus 60 dBs per decade. Notice here we have a, a familiar equation. We change it up slightly to create a pole at the, at the origin in the denominator here. So we put an S down there. Notice whenever we have an S down here, regardless of what the rest of the equation looks like, that creates a pole. Remember that S equals J omega, but being in the denominator, the J then becomes negative. So we have a negative 90 degrees phase angle, and the slope would therefore also be a negative 20 times the log of omega. Remember when omega is equal to 1, the log of 1 is equal to 0, and the magnitude at that point would be 0 dB, and it would go negative past that, and it will be positive in front of that. So therefore, you can see now that poles and zeros are very easy to plot, and then later on we'll show you how to add all those various sections of the plot together to form a complete plot for the transfer function. But at least now we have a good idea what to do with poles and zeros.